Hello everybody, my name is Chris Donato. welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. In the last episode, we were completely insanity, literally. We, in we were introduced by the monster that was haunting us, we eventually got through the goopy barricade to get into the refinery which we are in now, with a pot of acid. And I don't know what's going to happen now, so... It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight, and make sure not to stray. Oh, don't tell me there's more enemies now. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Uh, the monster is going somewhere. I, I heard him shut a door. I don't know. He's just... Okay. I know he came through this door. Um. There's nothing in there. Do I have any more oil? No, I have to be careful. Maybe a bit. Oh, right. <laughs> Speaking of which. Um. What's there? Anything? Candles. Loud, loud enough. Totally didn't mean to break that. Sorry. Oh, uh, there you go. That's sorted for you. That's the party over. The door leading to the back room is blocked off. Find another way in. Well, don't worry about that. I am going to. Oh, that's, uh, that's not the way I want to go. Oh yeah, there's another way in there. Okay, of course out there. Anything in there? Anything? Tinderbox. I've got so many. I probably should use it. Do not dare come in this room. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? This is not looking good. Probably have my traps in here. No. It's sanity's dangerously low again. It's, I'm just completely insane, aren't I? I'm insane. This, this is all a nightmare. Go in here. Tinder box. Lots of tinder boxes. Pick it, give it to me. There's absolutely nothing in this room. There's absolutely nothing. I was wondering. Oh, what's this? Robot pull the hatch open. Something must be clogging the pulley. Um. Oh, I. Oh, I see. Oh. 
That's a book. It's going down here. The nightmare is still following Daniel by the looks of things. All the goop is everywhere. I'm not going to touch it though. The cellar archives. with water. It's flooded. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh Christ on my You don't see shit mate. Oh no. How am I gonna get in there without him eating me? This is absolutely terrifying. Can you fuck off, please? I don't have anything you want. Stuff over there I can distract it with. <clears throat> How about you take this arm, go over there? Something large brushed against his leg and felt it being dragged along by the current of the bees who pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, and the ocean swallowed him again. Holy crap, that was terrifying. I'm not, oh my god, I was shitting myself up. Oh no. I'm closing the door. Go, 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 go
the SS was dead because of the nipples. I can't read it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was horrifying. Oh, thank Can I have some peace and quiet now? Oh, yes. Oh, this is just what I need for a minute after all of that. Oh, my Christ. Holy shit. Everybody breathe in the, the fountain over there. That looks like a freaking creepy baby. What is that? Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, thank god I can relax from that. Oh. What's in here? You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Now, of course it's not working. Find a way to sell the engine of the power elevator. The music just makes everything so much better. I'm not even joking, it's, it's so much better. It feels so much better as well. Can we go in here? No. Find a key on what's the door to the machine room. The machine room that obviously has the engine in it that powers the elevator, but we can't obviously go in there. Alright, moving on. That was absolutely terrifying. I still can't believe that it just happened. Hello, anything in here? Let's have a look. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was travelling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It has, it has, it is as inexplicable as the Hilodromus described it as the Hortus con Conclusus. It was as told about an underground Mithraic, the temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands with the texture was smooth and jagged, its colour washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, in visiting investigating one of the attic antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it also became become a great fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did, but I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to the nearby ravine where I stumbled upon the men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately remained as I content continued my escape. When I heard the cry of pain echo from my valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue stream of light engulfed me, and the colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak brown surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with the leaves of cinder and the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched and slant glowing ember and gave the way rising wand and it rained on me. I could hear pleading screams of the distance. Since I joined in as pain and fear overtook me, I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I, I had carried miles away from the Alps to grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken orb from me, but st until this day I, just, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day. I still haven't been able to write about the incident the last time we spoke to you. 
t t spoke to you, told me about your interest in ongoing research to the Mythic Orbs, and realised I owed you the truth to my visit to Alster. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. <coughs> wow. That was a lot to read. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that was boring. But nevertheless, this seems peaceful so far. Apart from some obnoxious dog barking in the background, but I'm sure we'd be fine. Anything else in this area? Anything? No? Anything? No? Um, the box. No? no? More chemistry? Don't tell me there's another one. Shut up. Oh dear. Dog's head. Canny Sloopers Familias, 1658, April 12. After a short study, it clears that the agitation found among humans could be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where it, what it and what it is, but I can sense it reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems to be the only human beings that be able to produce the amount necessary. It might be the ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately aug augments their experience of terror. Excuse me, what was that? What, what, what was that? Was that you that made that noise? Fuck you. What's that? Anything else? Anything else? Well, that's... Bones and skulls, really. No, nothing in that. Nothing up the way there. No, nothing... Nothing else, no. Anything in there, no. Try to bird. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Well, that's a bit... Unnecessary as well. Killing dogs. Poor dogs. Look at his head. Catch. Nice catch. Get with my bare hands. More dogs are getting tortured by the sounds of it. Alright, we're in here. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience sits span centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. I was... It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered the gate. Oops. Alright. Anything... Anything... A flow cycle rod. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to the right amount of pressure in the upside chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is flow and char. Trinity steam set function is full phase amplitude. Complete steam flow. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. So it looks like I found one out of possibly three rods. Gonna find the other two. There's absolutely nothing in here, apart from a rod. Just double check. No. Nothing. Oh. So, 
wall. Alright, looks like we're done in here. So there's nothing else in here, no more rods, anything, just decking, no, no rods. Looks like we're done in this room then. Alright. Is it another dream? He thought and screamed at the top of his lungs. Alright, I think I'll leave this episode here. Episode 4 of Amnesia the Dark Descent. This is getting really exciting. That was absolutely terrifying, that water monster that was trying to eat my limbs. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye! Sanity is dangerously low again. Oh, what's that?